Who's ready for some more ninjas? Because Ku's ready for some more ninjas. He's so ready that he started the next Let's Play about him. Hey everybody, this is Ku Impact, and we're about to start the next Let's Play of the Neo Summer of Ku Impact. Konami. It's Gambare Goemon 2! And the strange case of General McGinnis. Or is it the weird General McGinnis? McGinnis. Look, I can read McGinnis. That's about it. Just reliably. What is this font? Oh, he makes me switch between these two. What? I didn't even know that. Well, I'm here to hit A. A to begin. Alright, passwords are gone. No more saving good journals. Instead, we have a save system. You still have to pay to save. And here are our titular characters. Goemon! Ebisamaru! And Sasuke. Well, I would play as the other two. Honestly, I'd be Sasuke. But we're gonna play as Goemon. Because this is Gambore Goemon. This is Let's Go Goemon. Alright. We begin. Uh, here at the Southern Paradise of Ryukyu Resort. Uh... uh on the outskirts? I believe that's what it's saying. Oh no, now this is... Uh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of word there. Also, this font. It's a little hard to read. Oh man, Goemon's not having his shenanigans. Ebisamaru, what are you doing? Come dance with me, I think he's, like, implying here. Oh shit, it's our boy Sasuke! And he can instant transportate! Man, the music's really good in this game, right at the start. Are you talking about the Rise of the West? Ah, yes, no. He's asking if we can assist him. He needs help. Where's Yae? I just thought about that. I mean, this is post the princess being saved. Ah, there he is. The fool himself. General McGinnis. He's obsessed with toys. He plans to take this country down with toys. And bunnies. Oh no, I think Ebisamaru is thinking he could capitalize off of this. I mean, we were on vacation, guys. Now we have to immediately go into adventure. And all that what ho. Like, seriously? They're leaving Ebisamaru behind. I mean, come on, he's useless anyways. They're, they're rushing off. He's just like, oh no, guys, please. Yosha! Act one. I guess I should have did some research beforehand. Hey, everybody, there we go. By research beforehand, I mean I should have, like, preemptively translated this stuff for you. I... I can't do on-the-fly translations. Here we are in Goemon 2. As you can see, the, the stylistic art changes are pleasing to the eye, as well as the controls are fairly the same. Here's some differences for you. If I get damaged, I will lose a piece of my health bar instead of dying immediately. I can knock people down and kick them around. This... This is much like Congo's Caper, actually, when you think about it. I'm farming up these guys real fast to power my weapon up to its third form and max. Now we have the Fire Cane. The Fire Chain Cane, of all things. Basically, you want to get Goemon's Cane up to max, or anybody up to max. Because it increases their damage. Here's another new mechanic. They throw them all at you in this tutorial level to let you know, like, what you're in store for. Big enemies can be destroyed with your attacks, but if you attack the big enemy, where on its, on its like, smaller enemy part up there, if I kill the rabbit first, I'm allowed to mount the big enemy to get a speed boost in water in this case. Each, each big enemy does something different, and every single one of them takes between two to four hits to kill depending on what hits them. There are now Gordos in this game, by the way, so you can see down there. They're gonna annoy the shit out of me in a later level. But for now, we're not dealing with that. Tanuki Dog is the end of the level. Tanuki Dog. Raccoon Dog Tanuki. Sorry. 
And he gives us Rio. I can always approve of more Rio. Here's the world map. It's a new mechanic as well. I prefer the world oh, format. See that, uh... Oh, yeah. That big sumo over there. That's not fun. Ah, yes. Goemon, you are here. It is me, the great old wise man. And I'm here to give you the item that allows you to summon impact. Now, impact fights are in the game. And they employ a lot of mode 7, so they look really good. Ku sucks at impact fights. Like, I've learned this in my practice. I practiced this game not too long ago. Before I started Congo's Caper, I did a little practice run of this just to see how much I remember. And I'm like, I'm really good at the action stages. And then I was like, oh, I'm not so good at the impact fights. Ooh, touch lady, get 50. There was something I didn't really do in the first game, but it worked like that in the first game, except it was different amounts of Ryu. If you touched the girls, which are pretty rare in the first game, you would get money. I mean, because we're, we're going on, you know, touch lady, get money. Uh, you could touch old ladies for even more money, but I think we're not buying a save right now, lady. I'm sorry. I don't want to buy a save. I want to go. Not, not, not right now. No, thank you. But yeah. Impact fights, they're brutal. I wish I could use a super scope for them. Or a ma or, or a super NES mouse, because doing the with the D-pad, yeah, no, it's no fun. It's actually fairly precise. And oh look another Oh, I missed her. I should've shouldn't have done that. The townsfolk are ranting and raving about them. They're in trouble, the that foreigners are here. It's it's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not so good at on-the-fly translations, because I need to sit down and analyze the word. If I was to translate these sentences for you, we'd be here. The video would go on for, like, 26 minutes. If I tried to suss out the characters and what they're trying to say. Oh, look, an old lady. Yay, money! I think old women have a chance to take your money in this game. It's like a gamble while a girl... Or maybe it's the girl that is. We'll figure that out soon. But with my newly acquired old lady money, I might as well buy some armor. Get a level 1 wooden hat. You can't stack hats in this game. Buy a level 1... There is no shoes either, so you can't speed yourself up. Goemon and everybody has their own set speeds. Sasuke is the fastest. Ebisamaru is the slowest. Goemon's the medium. Ebisamaru can basically one-shot big enemies. Sasuke takes like 4 to 5 hits to even do anything. He's so weak. Ooh, more money. I just like gathering money. Now, the townsfolk, if you touch other type... Oh, I missed one. If you touch the other type of townsfolk, there's chances that they can get angry and stuff. Like, you can get attacked in towns. It's less hostile than the first game. But I'd rather not mess with these guys. Oh, not by a freaking long shot. If I don't have to fight in town, then I'm not going to fight in town. Yep. Got to take the sunset road. I get it. No lady. Yay. So that's why you're going to see me jumping around town. It's not... It's not because it's faster or anything. It's because I'm avoiding all the people. A game where you got to be antisocial. How ironic. So, these basket monks. They can land on your head and mess up your controls. Basket monks on springs? Man, that's so weird. Or you can touch them on the side and you take damage. But as you can see, I still have my fully powered up weapon. I only lost that armor I just bought. Because that wooden armor only takes one extra hit. Man, this game is gonna get difficult as well. Now, Data East made the last one, but didn't, like, and it was difficult. But let's see what Konami can do with the difficulty curve comparatively. Let's see how ridiculous this can get. I, I'm sure the final boss won't be as stupidly hard as the first game's final boss. That That's a long, that's like by a long shot kind of thing. In fact, if I remember this game correctly, the final boss itself is kind of a plot twist and I don't want to spoil it. Damn, I took two damage there. My big rat's gonna break. It's so hard to use the speed rat. It's fast on land, but at the same time, it's like, wow, I killed that in two hits with a fully powered up weapon. That's impressive. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, mmm, uh, no. So you can see I have a timer down at the bottom. I have to beat the stages in the 99 timer they give me. 
Now, the levels all aren't very long, so you can technically do this. And as the timer counts down in this level, the sun slowly sets. It has... Oh, yeah, there's the Rio throw. The thing I didn't use in the first game, but I, I have to use it in this game. They actually made it so you had to use your Rio throwing mechanic in some levels to progress the level. Which I think is clever, because that's what they should have done from the start. Like, Konami got their shit together with this one. And was like, look, let's restylize it, rework the whole formula, and make this game amazing. Alright, Tanuki, give me the money. Delicious amounts of money. The Rio is so good. And I'm out of time, so this has been Impact with Let's Play Gambari Goemon 2. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, the first fortress. Sumo Fortress. Hopefully, I won't get too caught.